Let's see, let's see. I just want to teach y'all about this Valentine's Day candy, but I keep cutting my live off. Like, leave me alone and let me teach. Jeez. Let me know if y'all can hear me or if it's pausing or not again. If y'all can hear me or if they're, they got me muted again. I keep going live and it keeps muting me and pausing me. I just want to teach you all and they're not letting me. Can y'all hear me? It's pausing now or no? I want to teach y'all about this candy. How about now? Better, better. What I did is I turned off my whole other phone. Y'all know I normally go live on three phones at once. It's usually not an issue, but uh, let me know. I was gonna teach y'all some stuff tonight, but yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all can hear and see now? Well, must not because everybody left. <laughs> everybody left. Share this with five people. Let's get them back in here. I think y'all can hear me now. I turned off my whole other phone. I don't know what's going on. Cool. Do me a favor. Click this arrow right here. Share this with five people and then comment one once you've done that. Let's get them back in here. Let's get them back. I don't know if my Wi-Fi is not working tonight. It was working. I just did a Zoom call with my university members on my, on my, on my network and it was no issue. But now I go on IG and it's an issue, right? Yeah, click this. Share this with. Just click that. Share it with five people real quick because somebody needs to hear this message. And then comment one once you've done that. And then we'll get started. It's still pausing. It's way better. You're good? Okay. Share this. Let's get some people in here. Because we got to break this down. We got to break this down. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you all for sharing the message. I appreciate all y'all who share the videos on your story, even though now it's giving you a warning. Are you sure you want to share T-Walk Dog's video? It's false information. Are you sure you want to follow T-Walk Dog? Because he's actually healing people, and we wouldn't want you to do that. Okay? Boom. Look at this box. What do you see wrong? Let me get right into it before they kick me off again. All right? See this block right here? Why is that so big? You thought you was just getting chocolate, but you got all this. Not chocolate, it's all this, all right? Let's break it down. Let's break it down. These shades are dark. So now I like to protect my eyes from the blue light, but I need to get a thorough inspection of what is that? What is that? This is the problem. You just put stuff in your mouth and you have no idea what it is. You are gonna pop this open tomorrow from your man, from your woman, and just, ooh, that's, that's toffee. Ooh, caramel. Ooh, that one's a weird strawberry goo. Ooh, delicious, delectable, delightful. Trash, right? Yo, so yeah, they make it this small. So let's go. Ingredients go in order for most of the least. Chocolate liquor. Oh, sorry, before chocolate liquor. Milk chocolate, dairy, lactic acid. Next, sugar, second most abundant ingredient. Chocolate liquor, which is a combination of sugar, cocoa butter, soy lectin, damaging your thyroid, causing fibroids, high in heavy metals, all right, high in aluminum. Next is white chocolate, parentheses, sugar, whole milk powder, more soy. Next, sugar again. So we got, what we got? One, two, three, four. We got five sugars. It says sugar five times so far, and we only right here. We only right here and you already got five sugars. You only right here and you already got diabetes. You follow me? Okay. Share this with five people real quick. Go ahead and share this. Tap them hearts. Share this with five people because somebody need to hear this. Share this real quick and then comment one. Let's get some people in here. All right. Because I know it's less people because it was paused in the beginning. But come on. Come on. Somebody comment. Free game. Come on. Again, you thought you had chocolate. Ingredients go in order for most of least. These are all the ingredients. Okay. Most abundant, milk chocolate, lactic acid. Next, sugar once, cocoa butter, chocolate liquor, whole milk powder, more lactic acid. Soy, again, high in aluminum, hard to digest also, causing fibroids, damaging your thyroid, all right? Then we got Sugar again, soy lectin again, so we got soy twice, sugar twice. We only on line three. Now we're on line four. White chocolate says sugar in quotes, whole milk powder, soy lectin. So now we got, what we got? One, two, we got four sugar, three soys. Then we got sugar again, sugar cream. So we're at what, six sugar already? We're only right here. We're only right here, we got six sugar, okay? Where, what line was I on? Sugar, sugar cream, heavy cream. 
Uh, yo, what the polysorbate 80, highly toxic, cream filling, sugar, that's seven sugar, skin milk, soy lectin again, that's four soy lectin, corn syrup, one of the worst things for your heart, okay, butter, what's that, butter, I'm losing, it's so much on here, butter, natural flavorings, that's a concoction they use to hide their ingredients for their specific tastes. So it hits your taste buds. They don't have to disclose those ingredients. Did y'all watch the video on my backup page, Holistic God, at Holistic God, where they break down artificial flavors and natural flavors and what it actually is and Planned Parenthood and how they're buying parts of children for uh, $300 for the... Uh, anyways, go watch that. I provided documents on screen. Uh, yeah, let's keep it moving. Corn, <laughs> soy again, corn syrup again. All right, what line's that? All right, rice flour, highly acidic. Sugar again, that's non-sugar. Salt, cocoa butter, dark chocolate. Sugar again, non-sugar. Milk fat, soy again. So we're at non-sugar and seven soy, okay? <laughs> Natural flavors again. Milk again. Confectionery sugar, another word for sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar. Okay, keep it moving. Next line, whole milk powder again. <laughs> Yo, what is whey protein, which is the rennet of an unweaned calf? Look up rennet. Look up calf rennet and try not to gag, okay? Because that's what you're eating tomorrow, okay? Enjoy, okay? Yeah, look up calf rennet. You're gonna, you're gonna, yeah, that's what you're eating. You didn't know it though, okay? On top of tension. What else we got? What else we got? Man, I'm burnt out. Soy, milk, whey, soy, milk, glucose syrup, natural flavoring, confectionery glaze, another word for sugar, evaporated milk, dipotassium phosphate, toxic. Oh, they're doing vitamin D3. Yeah, sure. Inverted syrup, another word for sugar. <laughs> Passion fruit, puree, trash and fruit. Puree is what it is. Okay. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Sugar again, pectin, absorbic acid, xanthane gum, hard to digest, acidic, tara gum. Y'all eat this. You have no idea what tara and xanthane gum is. You have no idea, right? You just eat it in every piece of candy you eat. You don't even care the gum you chew. Uh, I'm like sweating just breathing this. Frozen raspberry sugar. That's a new one. Okay, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> butter fat. Butter fat, comma, milk fat. Sorbitol. Soy oil. Uh, silica extract. Gum. I don't even. Gum trigacathan. <laughs> citric acid mold. Citric acid mold from the black mold called Aspergillus niger. That's what citric acid is. All right, salt, sorbic color, sugar, high fructose corn syrup, worst thing for your heart, which is why heart disease is the number one killer in the world. Y'all see how long I've been going? We about 10 minutes in. I feel like I've been reading this for 10 minutes. So I know you ain't reading it. I know you ain't reading it. He's like, oh, babe, ah, ah. Anyways, you don't even pay attention. This is the problem. This is why the world's sick, unhealthy, broke, struggling, many other things. Because nobody pays attention. Corn sugar, maltodextrin, worse for you than white sugar. We're on about, I've read the word sugar about 15 times. And I've read about 10 different words so far that are actually just another word for sugar. Okay? Yellow five, horrible for your nervous system, damaging the neurotransmitters in your brain. That's why most of the world has anxiety and depression and mental health issues. And neurological issues like MS, ALS, all these things. Epilepsy, all that stuff, right? Follow me. Yellow five. Sugar again. Sorbate preservatives. Xanthan gum again. Citric acid again. Red coloring. Red coloring. I call that anxiety and depression. Okay? High fructose corn syrup again. Red 40. Tearing that nervous system up. You don't even know. You're just a zombie at this point. You just 
twitching. Like, no, I'm not twitching. Why am I having an anxiety attack? What else? Like, I can't breathe. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I think I need to go to the hospital. Let me go to the hospital. I need to go, go, go. Call 911. Uh, pump me full of volume and your antibiotics, please, to calm me down. So I can go home and once I'm calm, I'm stressed and I'm lacking love and depressed. So I'm going to eat some more sugar. And then a week later, I, I got to go. I think I'm having another one. I think I'm, pills, 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 pills. Take the pills. Take the pills. Panic. Pill, 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 pill. Pill didn't work. Back to the hospital. Back on the antibiotics. Back on the pills. Oh, man, I'm glad I'm calm now. Wow, today was a stressful day at work. Let me grab another one of them little munchy little treats. Oh, anxiety attack again. Sick, sad world. Somebody comment. Pay attention. Is it even letting y'all comment? Y'all know they'd be messing with my... Is it even letting y'all comment? Because I don't even see any comments. But, you know. I wasn't finished with the ingredients, by the way. Red coloring, high fructose corn syrup, red 40, sugar again, modified corn starch, red 3, maltodextrin again, corn sugar again, xanthan gum, citric acid again, contains milk, soy, and wheat. We know. Right now we know. <sighs> oh my goodness, yo. Do we, need to, do we even need to do these? Do we even need to do the chalky hearts? If you're paying attention, if you haven't yet, today's your chance. Join my Holistic Health University. Flash sale. No code needed. Click that link right there that says Holistic University V-Day Flash Sale. 24 hours only. Sign up today. It's only $29.99. That's a dollar per day. You probably spent more than $29.99 to show your man and your woman that you love them just to shorten their lifespan. But that's another topic, right? Really, it's not. It's the same topic. So that's what you did. You wouldn't spend $29 on this instead of learning how to heal you, your whole family, detail protocols for every single disease and illness. Also get my ultimate detox bundle for free. Yeah, sign up today, $29.99. No payment in March. You get a whole month free. You get a whole month free. Your next payment of only $29.99, of only a dollar per day, isn't until April, April 14th. So 24 hours, flash sale, not doing this again. Figured I'd give back. Get, Cause I'm like, I can't make it cheaper. It's $29. It doesn't get cheaper than that. What can I do? Okay, let me give them a month for free. Sheesh. Cause the problem is, if I don't get you to pay attention, all these on the front rack at CVS and Walgreens, you're gonna pay attention to that. And you're gonna pay attention to this. And you're gonna feel like a bad girlfriend. You're gonna feel like a bad husband if your woman don't wake up to one of these tomorrow, right? You might even get cussed out. Cause she done sick in the head. Cause she done even been eating too much sugar. Your man might cuss you out because you ain't get him his favorite sweethearts that say, miss you, hug me, love, love you, be mine. It don't sound like you want me to be yours. It sounds like you want me to be gone if you're giving me all this. Sugar, corn, do we got to get started on this? Sugar, ingredients go in order for most of the least. Sugar, corn syrup, dextrose, sugar, gelatin, pig, ground pig body parts. Let me say it. Let me say it. I don't think y'all be understanding. A lot of y'all be eating all this candy. Y'all be eating fruit by the foot. Where are my religious people? Where are my religious people? Where are my Muslims at? Where are my Muslims at? I know I got some Muslim supporters. They don't eat pork. But you do. You just don't, you just don't know it because you don't pay attention. You a real devout Muslim, but... You are eating pork on a regular day. I know a lot of Muslims is eating pork on a regular. I grew up around Muslims, right? A lot of my, all my nieces and nephews, their, their, their dads are from Philly. So, you know, it's a lot of Muslim people in Philly, right? So, it's like, looking back, I'm like, yo, they just like, no pork. No, no pork, no pork. And looking back, I'm like, yo, they was munching on all this. Now that I know, like, yo, they was eating pork all week. <laughs> they was eating pork all week. All week. Gelatin is pig, it's pork, if you didn't know. All right, gelatin, citric acid, mold again, artificial flavors, natural flavors. Go watch my video on my backup page at Holistic God. It's my third backup page. It's like a burner page. So I posted a video that's got removed. I did it three years ago, breaking down how natural flavors and artificial flavors is actually, in many cases, using body parts. Uh, from humans that are no longer here. Yeah, that's a safe way to say it so I don't get kicked off, right? And I'll put the document on the screen to prove it and the news reports, so you might want to check that out. But I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I know. Sick. It's disgusting. I don't even feel like going through all these eggs, milk, 
blue two lake, <laughs> blue one lake. It's a it's a rainbow lake right here. All right, this is really this is really that lake that was in uh, Willy Wonka. They were swimming in. You know what I mean? Oh, that was chocolate. Never mind. That was this. Uh, yellow six lake, red forty lake, blue two, blue forty two said hut. Super Bowl was yesterday. Blue one, blue two. Uh, trash, 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 trash. If y'all got any questions, I just had to bring this public service announcement to you all. I had to do that. Yeah, you get the detox bundle for free, also along with one month free. Where do you start with the bundle? You start on step one. There's the table of contents. Start with step one, the 30-day detox and reset, which again, you get for free when you sign up today, along with clicking there, join the Holistic Health University, sign up today, and guess what? No payment until April 14th. You get the whole month of March for free. Yeah, go ahead and do that. If you don't know what it is, I don't know. then you just ain't paying attention. I'm out of breath from reading all these ingredients. Yeah, that's module after module after module, 20 plus hours worth of holistic health content. I take you from beginner to expert on 10 different streams of income also, so you can put some money in your pockets and make that 29 back real easy. I got to teach you how to make some money too. A lot of y'all are sick and struggling because you ain't got no money. So I'm going to help you make money too. All right? Follow me. Because guess what? When you don't got money, you're struggling, you're depressed, you're working a job you don't like for a boss you don't like working hours you don't like, doing a commute in traffic that you don't like, while driving a car there that you don't like and probably has issues quite frequently, living at a home or apartment complex that you don't like, where you may not even be safe, right? For a landlord that you don't like, that you argue with quite frequently. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? In a city you don't like, that has weather that you don't like, that doesn't get much sun, so you're lacking vitamin D3. Okay, so guess what? That causes you to be depressed and stressed, which damages your health, which also will raise your blood pressure. And then you're so stressed that you eat unhealthy foods. So it causes you to have more health conditions, more health issues. And then you go back to the stressful like that, that you don't like because you never learned how to make money and get freedom. So that's why I feel it's very important for me to holistically teach you how to get some money. So I do teach you 10 different streams of income in there for $29.99. It's never been done before. This has never been done before. You follow me? I'm from Seattle. Yes. Washington State has the least sun in the U.S. That's why that had Washington State has the highest rate of people on depression medication and the highest rate of self-harm because they have no vitamin D3 in their system. And then when you get vitamin D3, you need to make sure you're getting vitamin K2 which you can consume that through plant-based sources of vitamin K1, which your body will assimilate and turn into vitamin K2. You follow me? Like mushrooms, things like that. These are all important things. If y'all like any of this free game I be giving y'all, you ain't even seen nothing yet. You ain't even seen nothing yet. Because on here, they be censoring everything I say. So I can't even really, I ain't even able to get into the good stuff. So yeah, detailed protocols for every single disease and illness. I post brand new testimonials every single day for three years straight of people no longer having cancer, no longer having diabetes, no longer having herpes, no longer having STDs, no longer being on anxiety medications, no longer having migraines 24 seven, no longer having digestive issues, Crohn's, GERD, IBS, PCOS, diverticulitis, whatever other names they make up so they can put you on their pills. Oh, and yeah, if you need to check the testimonials, let me see actually. Yeah, all you got to do is go to my highlights tab, see all those, scroll through, click them. There's 100, 150 in each because I run out of space because I post so much and it says you've hit your limit, so I have to create a new one. Thousands of healing testimonials on my page and you'll see in them the names, the Instagram names are in them so you can verify they're real and that I'm not making these things up. And if you need further verification, there's plenty of video testimonials of people also. And guess what? All they did was join the Holistic Health University for $29.99, but guess what? They ain't get the flash sale though. They ain't get... The flash sale, sign up 24 hours only. I recommend you, instead of scrambling and spending 29 bucks on this to hurt your kids, hurt your wife, hurt your man, hurt yourself, you might wanna, you got options though. Remember, you always got options. You always got options. You always got options. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. Any questions? Any questions?
Yeah, I think, I think I did a thorough enough breakdown. Like I could go in depth and really go scientific route of what each ingredient would do, but we'd be here. We'd be here for three hours. We'd be here for three hours. If y'all ever want me to go more in depth on every single ingredient and what they are and how they hurt you, uh, just let me know when you can schedule three hours out of your day. <laughs> and we'll do that, okay? <laughs> but I don't think a lot of y'all got three hours right, right now. Yeah. $30 is well worth it. Shout out to you. Actually, yeah. Sean, he just sent me his video testimony. I posted it to my story. I didn't post it on my page yet. Real testimonials. Every time I go live, there's a detailed protocol for thyroid. There's a detailed protocol for fibroids. There's a detailed protocol for anxiety. So you can get off of that medication the doctor has you on. It's going to make you feel worse as soon as you run out and only cause further issues in your body, damage your kidneys, liver, and many other things, even though you feel safe on it, right? This is what happens. This is the sad truth. This is the sad truth. What helps with lupus? Detailed protocol for autoimmune disease. Go to the autoimmune disease module. Watch that video where I explain it, why it's happened. And at the end, there's a detailed protocol, what herbs, how to mix them, how to make them, how to prepare them, where to get them. Links to everything is pinned in the private Facebook group and private Telegram group. So you know exactly where to go. If you have any questions, you can message me daily in the private Facebook and Telegram group. And there's weekly Zoom calls with me, video consultation. I just got off of that a few hours ago. It was two hours long. I was on there answering everyone's questions, making sure everybody was good, making sure everybody understands how to follow whatever protocol they're using so that they can come back in a month or so and send me a video testimonial to share with y'all, to motivate y'all, and show you another person healed naturally. Every single day for two years straight. Three years straight, pardon me. Three years and three months straight, actually. Let's be specific every single day to my instagram story for three years and three months straight there's been a brand new dramatic testimonial on my page with the names in them to verify that they're real so i don't debate i don't dispute i don't argue with people in the comments when they say i'm wrong there's nothing to talk about because everybody who has something to say about me not one not one has done what i've done and posted a brand new dramatic testimonial every single day for three years and three months straight. I've never heard of it done before. I know a lot of healers. I know a lot of the popular ones. Never have I seen that done. That means I'm traveling. That means when it's Valentine's Day, when it's Christmas, when it's Thanksgiving, when it's my mom's birthday, when it's my birthday, when it's I'm on vacation in Aruba. It doesn't matter. Y'all seen when I was in vacation in Aruba, what was I doing? That video's on my page. What up, y'all? On the beach, chilling with the flamingos right here. I have flamingos all around me. With the flamingos right here, put the green screen on. But anyways, here's the testimonial. At so-and-so, lost 50 pounds, is no longer pre-diabetic, and no longer on blood pressure medication. Every single day, I never miss a day. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's never, I never miss a day. It's never been done. <laughs> That's all. Facts. BB Consciousness says, I've been watching you for a year, and after your success, and being tired, I'm ready. Well, this is a good time to take advantage, BB, because I'm doing a flash sale, sign up today. $29.99 today, instead of your next payment being due March 14th, 30 days from now, you get the whole month of March free, no payment until April 14th, there's no contract, you sign up, you process your payment, you create your login, you instantly got access to all the modules, you instantly are instructed on how to join the Telegram group, how to download the free detox bundle, so you can start with step one, which is the 30 day detox, uh, how to join the private Facebook group. You have access to everything. The weekly Zoom call is pinned in the Telegram group so you don't miss that and you get going and you be consistent. You get off them pills and all that stuff, right? Yeah. Shoot, almost clicked off my live. Working even, yeah, even on vacation. It don't matter, again, it don't matter what day. To, go to my page. Go to my page right now and tell me how many posts a free game we'll put up today. Probably like 10 videos. And those alone, if you took notes on them and took action, that would save many of your lives right there. But instead, you just keep scrolling and watch twerk videos and cat videos and worried about J-Lo's new mansion she bought and watching, re-watching Super Bowl commercials on YouTube instead of learning how to upgrade your life mentally, 
health wise, financially, so you can escape your job, which causes you to be depressed. But no, let's let's share oh, Blueface and Blueprint Blueface beat his girlfriend up again. Oh, J Lo is bought a house and uh ha, this cat video crazy. You know that cat playing the piano and oh shit, damn, they was really fighting in CVS like that. Damn, yo, that's wild. What? That dance routine they did on TikTok in the mall was crazy down the escalator. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. I need to go to sleep and go back to my life that I hate. Sad. If you're easily offended, my page ain't for you. Oh, shit. I've been watching TikTok videos for two hours. I've made no progress in my life. I did this to mask the real issue. And now, shit, I need to go to bed at 10 o'clock because I got to be up at 6 p.m., 6 a.m., Commute for an hour. I need to wake up. At, I got 24 hours. I wake up 6 a.m. Let's break this down thoroughly. Can we break this down thoroughly? Or are y'all going to get offended and unfollow me? Huh? Somebody comment, break down. Somebody comment, break down if y'all want me to break this down. Because people, be, people don't be thinking. Let me take this off screen. Somebody comment, break down if y'all want me to break this down. Yes, the Zoom calls come with the Holistic Health University weekly. Had one today for two hours. Somebody call me a breakdown if you want me to break this down. Okay, there we go. There we go. And I'm not even good at math. Like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I was considered dumb my whole life. I'm a high school dropout, guys. I went from being a high school dropout from a small town in LD classes. Like, you know, I ate with, I had to do like the single file line with like six people to go eat at lunch. Shit. Yeah. You know, I had to line up with like six people against the wall and go eat lunch with six people. I didn't get like regular lunch. Like I was in LD classes. You know what I mean? I was in LD classes, labeled ADHD, ADD, got pulled out of class constantly for severe speech impediment. Y'all hear me now? I still stutter a little bit. Severe speech impediment, stuttered horribly, got made fun of every time a teacher called on me to read, right? Got bullied from a small town in West Virginia. Ain't grew up with much. Grew up around my father who was a crackhead. My brother who was selling crack in the same house, they would always argue because my dad was sneaking when he was gone and break into a safe and steal his crack. And then if he was home, my, bro my brother would just sell crack to him. He beat my mom in front of me my whole life, domestic abuse. Got called the N-word my whole life from all my, white, all my white friends, right? If I can do it, God damn anybody can do it. Like, come on, come on. Like, I don't wanna hear no excuse. But you gotta, you gotta unlock that pineal gland. You gotta decalcify that pineal gland. You gotta repair the hippocampus in your brain that is damaged from all this food, which is responsible for memory. So when I'm teaching you stuff like this, you don't even get it. It goes in one ear out the other. You don't forget. What is that thing he said? Y'all, y'all DM me. Hey, T1, what's that? That one video you said this, you said that. Because your hippocampus is damaged, so you never memorized it. You never thought to pull your phone out and go to your damn notepad and take some notes. So here's where we are. Okay. But y'all said breakdown, so we got to break this down. All right, you get up at 6 o'clock. You get up at 6 o'clock, okay? We're going to do 24 hours. So in 24 hours, you have 24 hours, right? In that 24 hours, let's say you take an hour to get ready for work. Let's subtract an hour, okay? Then we're going to say breakfast, getting dressed, maybe shower, do your hair, whatever. Say an hour to get ready for work, all right? Then let's say your commute on average, traffic, let's just round it off to an hour. Maybe it's 45 minutes, let's say an hour. So we got an hour, okay? Now you go to work. Most people eight to 12 hour shifts. Let's do middle, let's say 10 hours. So let's do 10, okay? You go to work 10 hours. Now you got that same commute back. By the way, you gotta wait in line to clock out. You go to the locker room, get your stuff, whatever. Get your stuff out the lunchroom. We're not even gonna add that. But let's do another hour to get back. Now you're back home, okay? We're down to 11 hours left in your life. Now you're back home. Y'all follow me? You have 11 hours left of your life after just work. So out of 24 hours, 13 of it went to this company that you hate, this boss that you hate, the coworkers you don't like, the commute that you don't like, the car you drove there that had issues on the way and all that stuff. But let's just, we're down to 11 hours. Now you're back home. Most people got kids. So maybe you gotta pick your kids up. Maybe you gotta make, we know you gotta make dinner or something for your husband, for your kids, for your wife, whatever. Let's just say that's an hour. Let's say that's an hour. 
Boom. We're down to 10 hours left in your life. In your 24 hours, you got 10 hours left. You know what we're missing? You got to sleep, right? They say six to eight hours. Let's say seven hours. So you got to sleep seven hours. You got three hours left of your life. Three hours. Maybe. This is for like a person who ain't got a lot going on, who ain't got a bunch of kids, who ain't working 12-hour shifts. Imagine if you're working 12-hour shifts. Now you're down to one hour. So sleep. We're down to three hours left. I'm not equating all the other stuff, traffic. I'm not really equating for doing dishes, laundry, uh, all that stuff, right? So we'll just say three hours left. And you know what most people are not going to do with that three hours? Because they want to feel like they have a little bit of life and that it doesn't all go to work. Because you only slept those eight hours so that you can have enough energy so to wake up for work to do what you hate again. That's the only reason you really slept. You didn't sleep because you're like, ah, it's just time to sleep. Because your body told you to go to sleep. No, you were forced to go to sleep. You looked at your phone and said, shit, I'm already tired at work every day because I hate it so much and it drains me mentally. So I definitely need to be in bed by 10 p.m. Wow, it's 10, 10. Let me lay down and force myself to go to sleep again so I can get up and do this life thing that they call it again. And in that three hours that you do have left, if maybe you have that, most people don't. I'm being courteous. What are you going to do? You're going to use escapism to not think about this life you're going back to. And you're going to play Xbox. You're going to watch the new episode of BMF. You're going to watch Dear John or whatever that show is on Netflix. You're going to watch the Super Bowl, right? So guess what? Never once did you spend time educating yourself. Never once did you focus on your spirituality. You ain't got time to meditate. You ain't got time to do yoga. Let's say, y'all follow me, so let's just say many of y'all are working out. Let's say many of you are working out. So now let's take that three hours. I don't even talk about working out because most people ain't. I'm going to say because y'all follow me that y'all are working out, right? So when that three hours is left, now you got to figure out how the fuck am I going to work out? Shit. Okay. Bang. Go home. Or maybe you take your clothes with you. Maybe you're doing everything you can to make sure you got enough time. You take your clothes work with you. You drive to the gym. That commute we talked about. Boom. Go to the locker room. Get changed. Boom. Get your workout in 45 minutes to an hour. Boom, drive back home. Maybe an hour left, maybe. Let's go ahead and subtract two. But we, we drove to the gym, we showered. You took your unhealthy pre-workout in your shaker. Oh, I'm good now, now I'm a fitness person. Yeah, you're damaging the neurotransmitters, damaging your nervous system. Anyways, <laughs> doing healthy stuff so you can get charged up to work out and do something healthy. Weird, and then you finish the workout and consume unhealthy whey protein. So, oh, anyways. Um, you do your workout for an hour on average. You go back in the locker room. Maybe you just, you ain't even got time to shower before you go. So you just grab your stuff, grab your keys real quick. I got to get home. Shit, I got to cook dinner. Boom. You have no hours left. So how are you going to excel in life? How are you going to excel in life? How are you ever going to do a course? How are you ever going to get a mentor? And mind you, out of those zero hours you have left, you were poorly compensated. You get your check every two weeks and you're like, yo, what the hell? And I didn't even equate for overtime because a lot of you are working overtime because you're like, yo, I need to get some money. And the only way I know how to get money is to work for someone else and put effort towards someone else's company to make them millionaires and billionaires. So I need to work this overtime so I can get an extra $100, maybe 150 after taxes. Instead of working 40 hours this week, I need to do, let's say five, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. need to do actually 10 hours this week so I have actually 20 hours on my check every two weeks. So let's say, let's say $20 an hour, right? Let's say, we'll be generous. Let's say $25 an hour, all right? Times, what's that? Times, okay, 80 hours, boom. Oh shoot, I did that wrong, 25. And then we're doing overtime. So did we do 40 hours a week, 80, but you did an extra 10, so let's say 100 hours. Okay, boom. So we got $2,500 check. Okay, so we got $2,500 check. Okay, we got $2,500 check. Hope you are following. This is needed. 
Sometimes, again, I got a whole flash sale going on right now. Click the link in my bio, you get the whole next month free. That's actually not even important right now. I'm good. I need to get y'all right. Because some of you just need the mind. The mindset is first. I can teach you everything about herbs and money and this and that. If your mindset, you don't understand the struggle of your life, you'll always struggle. The first step is understanding. Like, yo, when I was broke and struggling, I had to finally look at him and say, yo, my life fucking sucks. There's y'all see my video flashbacks I posted this weekend. I'm in that video yelling in 2017. I'm like, I don't like my life right now, but I'm gonna change that shit. I'm about to be more miserable. I'm about to not play games. I'm not hanging out with friends and I'm making myself miserable on purpose because I know I'm doing it for a reason. So while everybody else is partying, I'm gonna be at home studying. I'm using my few hours that I do have left to take a course and watch YouTube videos and take notes because this ain't gonna be my life forever. And I got out. Now I'm in the top 1% income earners in America. I have a McLaren in my driveway next to my Challenger. I just sent my mom her rent money. I can travel when I want, where I want, how I want. I have two properties in the Dominican Republic. I got one in North Carolina. I got another in Atlanta. I'm here in Florida. Like, yo, there's no difference between me and you. Like, you have to understand that. There's like zero difference. I'm just like you. I'm like normal. I got some followers. I'm a normal fucking person. I was working a warehouse job that I hated. And I'm from West Virginia, so I was working with number of racist white people. Every car in the damn parking lot was Confederate flags. I always catch them saying racist jokes in the house. My manager, when we would do our exit meeting at the end of the day, he's like, all right, everybody, have a good day. And do the Hitler sign. Everybody laugh. Ha! Do it back. Like, yo, I've been driving forklifts and throwing boxes and working for FedEx and working for overnight stocking at Lowe's and being a personal trainer, being poorly compensated. Like, yo. There's no difference. So anyways, let's get back to it. Your tech, you did overtime. You made 25 an hour. You made 25 an hour. Okay. You work 80 hours, but you did two hours overtime every day. So you can work 100 hours every two weeks. 100 times 25. We're at 2,500 every two weeks. Okay. Uh, let me see. What is... Uh, let me Google something real quick. Oh, I don't got it. Anyways, so we got 2500 because you worked on it overtime. Okay? Let's say taxes. Let's be generous. They took $400. Say they took $400. That sounds about right, right? $2,100. All right, every two weeks. I did a breakdown on this before and I put this stuff on the screen. So we got 2,100 times two. So you made 4,200 you took home after taxes. All right, I did this break, I put it on the screen. The average, I should pull my laptop up actually. Just forget it, let's just wing it. Let's do roundabouts. Average rent mortgage, let's do low end, let's do 1,500. All right, so you bust your ass $100 a week. You got 4,200 after your taxes, all right? Okay, so let's do fifteen hundred for your rent. Boom, you're down to twenty seven hundred dollars. Tax is thirty two percent. Yeah, so I just took four hundred. All right, so you're down to twenty seven hundred dollars. Car payment, insurance. Let's say your car payment's two fifty. Insurance, I, I don't know, mine's like five hundred. So let's cut it in half, two fifty. So let's say minus five hundred. Boom, you're down to twenty two hundred. Okay, you gotta get groceries. You got kids. Let's say, let's be super generous and say $300 for the month. $300 for the month. That's probably super low, right? Let's do four. I'll say 400. 400 for the month on groceries. We're down to $1,800. All right. You got to get laundry detergent. You got to get this. You got to get that. You got to eat. You got to eat. You got to eat all the time and, and do dumb stuff. You got to turn up on the weekend. Just miscellaneous stuff, right? All right. I'm talking about if you have kids. If you got kids, you probably spend about 400 a month on groceries, right? Is that is that too much? All right. So let's take another 200 out for miscellaneous shit, right? And that's probably low end because a lot of y'all y'all don't budget at all. You just oh I'm you know, Gabe. Oh this is a nice pair of Uggs. Let me get these. Just throw it in the bag. Just throw it in the bag like you're balling, but you're not right. You're doing dumb stuff, right? Down to 1,600, 700, right? Exactly. 
more, right? Exactly. I'm being super conservative. Uh, we didn't do gas yet. What, what are we thinking for gas? Gas per month. I don't know. Let's say a car takes 80 bucks to fill. Let's say 70 bucks to fill up. Let's say you got to get gas because you're working a lot of hours. You back and forth, back and forth the gym, grocery store. What's, what's gas? 300 a month? 400? Okay, about 400 a month. Three, 400 a month. Depends on how many miles you're driving, how far your commute is. What y'all think? 300, 400? Yeah, if you're in Cali, if you're in Cali, somebody throw out a number. We going 400? I think it's a lag on the comments, but okay. Let's do, I'll wait for like four more things. Uh, 400 for gas. Nobody, Any? only one person. 400, okay. Minus 400 for gas. So we got 1,200 left. What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing some stuff. I feel like I'm missing some stuff. Okay. So, okay, let's say on the conservative end, you got 1,200 left per month. Now, what are you doing with that 1,200? That's the question. This is the question. It's like, yo, where? Because y'all are like, yo, where is my money going? A lot of you, if you really broke down your finances and you really like broke it down, you put it down like bills, bills. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, yeah, utilities. I didn't even do utilities. I just missed utilities. So we're not done. Thank you. Cell phone. Thank you. How much is a phone? 200? Let's do 200 for the phone. Boom. Utilities, three to 500. Three to 500 for utilities. And again, I'm being super conservative. Like I'm like giving y'all. Three to five, three to five hundred for utilities, right? Cell phone, life insurance, renter's insurance. It's getting crazy. So let's do another. Boom, we down to a thousand. Now we got to do utilities. Let's do four hundred for utilities. We got six hundred dollars left from all that hard work you put in. You put in a lot of hard work. You got six hundred dollars left for the month to show for yourself, and we're not done. We didn't do cell phone yet. Oh no, you, I did. Oh yeah, I did cell phone. What else you said? All right. Uh, Lenny, you got to pay attention. The masterclass been shut down because they shut down my whole website. I started the Holistic Health University, which is the masterclass times a thousand. It's twenty nine ninety nine per month. Links in the bio. I've been promoting that for since October. Since October, the old masterclass has been done and gone. Same time they took my Instagram and deleted that and deleted my TikTok and shut down all my payment processes and all that. So you must have missed that whole saga. Uh, credit card bills. Yeah. Which a lot of y'all, you shouldn't be spending on credit if you ain't got the money for it. So let's say you got people, you got three, probably two, three credit cards. You're paying the minimum payment and getting taxed like crazy because you're paying the minimum. Paying mad. Uh, yeah. So let's say 30, 30, let's say 60. Let's say 80, okay? Down to 520. Yeah, self-maintenance, hair, yeah, haircut, salon, mani, petty. All right. 100. Yo, the money's... Daycare per kid is 700 a month. Is it? See, I don't have kids. What's the average daycare price per month? I don't have kids. Somebody fill me in on that. I know I got like 10 nieces and nephews, but I don't be asking questions. How much is daycare per month on average? Give me like a roundabout. Somebody says 700. That seems like a lot to me, but I don't have kids. Is that normal? 400? Okay, so we looking at at least four to 700, it sounds like. And this man said four per kid? Daycare, what's daycare average cost? A thousand. Oh, I'm glad I ain't have kids. Sheesh. But this is important. I also didn't have kids on purpose. My ex-wife divorced me. More to my story, okay? You gotta watch my life story on YouTube. My ex-wife divorced me because he really was pushing for kids. We were broke at the time. I said, no way in hell am I bringing a kid. I don't care how much you want one. I'm not bringing a kid into this world right now because we're struggling, right? So I'm not about to bring a kid in here and they can't have what they deserve. And on top of that, that's gonna take away from me being able to put into myself, in my mind, and study and research and stuff, I don't want to neglect my kid, but I've got goals right now. So I got to be on the back burner. So she divorced me because of that. Okay. So yeah, let's be responsive. You don't got kids. Think smart. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I was married for eight years. She divorced me because I didn't want to have kids. 
mean, because I was so focused on doing videos and she got tired of hearing me doing videos in the living room. And I said, if you could just shut your face and be quiet, I promise this is gonna make me a millionaire and change our life. And she came over with the divorce papers and moved out like a month later. And <laughs> within three months, I was living in Hollywood, living my best life. <laughs> oh, she's sick. Let's keep it moving. Okay, so it's looking like an average 1,000, 700, 400. We're going to go in the middle and say six. I'm going to say 600. Low end, minus 600. If you've been following everything, we are negative $180 right now. Yeah, she's sick. <laughs> she's sick. <laughs> she's sick, right? Uh, uh, nah, 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 boo boo, you can't catch me. <laughs> so we negative 180. Okay? Yeah. So damn. You just put all that work in. You bust your ass. You did it. This is with the overtime. If you just joined it, I did a detailed breakdown of the hours you have in your life versus what you're being compensated for. And what we came up with on the low end. For most people, is a negative $180 per month. Very conservative. It's no wonder you're behind on your credit card payments. And this makes you more depressed. She's like, y'all been busting my ass. Like, yo, how does my bank account keep going down? Like, yo, I worked overtime. I seen the deposit. It was $2,200. It's more than usual because I did the overtime. But damn. Hold up, damn. Modern day slavery, right? Because what did the slaves do? They worked for, for what, right? Why did the slaves, first is being forced, right? Obviously, and scared of getting killed, right? But why did they do it, right? They had kids, they had a wife, that was being molested by the slave master and all that stuff, right? But let's just let's just clear out that. Why did they do it? Because they needed things, right? What did they need to stay alive? Even though it's slavery, they're being forced to live a life they don't want. What did they need? Food, clothing, and shelter. So yes, the master is beating the hell out of me and castrating me, double castrating me, uh, molesting my woman and my child, right? Just killed my brother in front of me, chopped his head up, right? All that stuff, we know. We don't even need to revisit that, right? But at the end of the day, I need food, clothing, and shelter. So we put in work for this boss, master, because we need food, clothing, and shelter, despite how he mistreats me and talks down on me, my boss, Right? And all his other little racist little sidekicks, your coworkers, right? We still need food, clothing, and shelter. So we need to work some overtime so we can get food, clothing, and shelter this month, right? So what do we do now? You have a family or you're just by yourself and what do you need? You need food, clothing, and shelter, bare minimum. So what do you do? You put up with this piece of shit system that's put in place from your boss, your master that you don't like, that treats you like shit, tells you when you can eat, tells you when you can go home, tells you when you can sleep at night, when you get lunch break, when you can get off of your child's game and you have to listen. Because if not, there's a high probability that you won't have what? Food, clothing, and shelter. But every now and then, there ain't many of us. I'm hoping the people who follow me and have listened to this, we can create more. Every now and then, there's like and there's many names that aren't known, right? 
but let's go with a common one. Every now and then there's like a Harriet Tubman type of like, like, yo, fuck what this dude's saying. There's no way this is about to be my life. You gonna have to kill my ass. There ain't no way this is my life. There's no way I was put on earth from God, whoever I believe in, from this universe, the Big Bang, whatever, for this motherfucker to tell me how I'm gonna live my life and make me miserable my whole life and struggle my whole life and treat me like shit my whole life. So I don't know what all y'all doing. I have no idea what y'all talking about. You scared? Fuck him. He ain't about to cut my arm. He ain't about to do that to me. I'm getting the fuck out of here. If I got to run and get out of here, if I get shot in the back doing it, at least I fucking try. At least I try. Because there's no way I'm meant to be here being a slave. There ain't no way. Right? Somebody comment right. Somebody comment some hundred emojis. You don't even realize that you're in this very similar position. This is a very, very similar position. Obviously, it was more gruesome back then. But when we really break down the structure of it, it's the same shit. So some of y'all got to get some Harriet Tubman about you or the many other names that aren't written about or the many other people that did get blasted in the back while they was running through the swamp and all that stuff. You know what I mean? They got off them, yeah, they broke the chains. And you got to take a risk. Like you ain't going to get freedom without no risk. You ain't getting off that plantation. I don't care if you white, black, brown, whatever your ethnicity is. You ain't getting off that plantation unless you take a risk. You got to be scheming on the boss. And those y'all that's working, you need to be scheming on the whole process. When I was working in gyms, when I was working in warehouses, I'm playing dumb. You, when you're the slave, you got to play dumb. Because if you talk, you might, get your con you might get your tongue cut off if you talk. Right? If they find out you can read, they might castrate you. If they find out you can read, they might blast your child. So you got to play dumb. So I'm just playing dumb in the room. I'm listening to what the manager's talking about. Right, how do they run this process? Okay, that's how they do the hiring process. Okay. Oh, I'm working for a gym. Okay. So hold up. This is the pay structure. Hold up. This is how much they charging for personal training. They charging a hundred dollars per hour. Okay. Shoot. I'm a sales manager. Shit. I'm signing up $30,000 worth of personal training per month per two weeks. Sorry. Every two weeks I'm signing up $30,000 worth of personal training and my checks only $1,500. So that means if I did it, I was the one who did the sales and everything. They're making 60,000 or sorry. Yeah, 60000 per month off of me and what I did for this other company. So that means I have the skill set to make 60000 per month my damn self. I ain't about to let the slave master keep taking all the money and throwing me the chitlins. Like, nah. I need the house with the white picket fence. You following me? So you have to think different. Until you think different, Everything will remain the same. Until you start thinking different, everything will remain the same. The life you have right now that you hate, that you despise, the relationship you're in, where you're getting abused, domestic violence, for the men and the women, the name calling, it won't change unless you change something, right? You're never gonna get past it until you get some bravery, you man up, you woman up, and say, ain't no way this is about to be my life. Ain't no way I'm about to let this man beat the hell out of me and give me black eyes for the rest of my life. Ain't no way I'm about to let him keep disrespecting me. Ain't no way I'm about to let this chick keep cheating on me and me catching her. Ain't no way I'm about to let this chick keep putting her hands on me and smacking me and scratching me. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Uh, the judging, if you're easily offended, my page isn't for you. Go ahead and click that unfollow. You're soft. Okay? Remember that. I think you said I'm being judgmental. If you're soft, my page ain't for you. And if you're saying this is judgmental, I can almost guarantee you will live an unsuccessful life. I can almost guarantee your life is unsuccessful right now. The problem is, many of you may be in this situation and... 
you have to not care what people think. And if you weren't talking about me, I apologize, but you brought up a good point. Okay, you said not you. So I'm not talking about you, but that was a good point to bring up. If, because many people in here do feel this is judgmental. Okay? I can apologize when I'm wrong. I apologize. Uh, 007 Danny kick in, right? But I'm glad you said that, because many of y'all are watching. And you're like, yo, this man's judgmental as fuck. Why is he talking? Everything he's saying is about my life. I need to, I'm going to unfollow him after this. I assure you that will be the worst decision you've made today. <laughs> I'm very confident in that. I'm very confident in my mental fortitude, in my knowledge that I've accumulated. You can call it cocky, whatever. I'm very confident that when you unfollow somebody like me, you're only going to make your life worse because ain't nothing but positivity, ain't nothing but motivation, ain't nothing but inspiration, ain't nothing but healthy living, ain't nothing but finance talk, ain't nothing but uplifting over here. So if you're soft, go be soft. Go be a slave. Go struggle. Go be depressed. You always got that option. You always go pop some pills. Go waste your money at the strip club. Go do that. You always got that option. But if not... I'm here to get all this free game. We've been live for about an hour now. To be honest with y'all, I got a flash sale going on right now. Join my Holistic Health University. $29.99, a dollar per day, but sign up now. Next 24 hours only. It started about an hour ago. You get the whole month of March free. Next payment is until April 14th. You also get my Ultimate Detox Bundle, which is $500 worth of programs, 100% free. Sign up now. But I ended up not even talking about that because... That's why I go live, because sometimes y'all's comments or whatever, it takes me in a direction and I just let it guide me and you get some epic speeches and some and some free game that you ain't a lot of you ain't gonna get from anywhere else. You following the wrong people. <laughs> That's the problem. If you got some free game, somebody comment free game. And we can keep going. But yeah, I don't even know how we got here. I have no idea. But I know there was some value. Somebody comment value. Somebody comment free game. Somebody comment some hundred emojis. Yeah. Share my page with a friend. Because they might need it. I'm not saying I'm the best. I'm not saying I'm the greatest. I'm not saying I'm the richest. I'm not saying I'm the smartest. I'm not saying I'm the most motivational. But I know every day I wake up and I make a strong effort to make sure I make someone's life healthier, more positive, inspire them. Make them laugh with my dumb little outfits. Like you really can't go wrong on my page unless you soft. <laughs> right? So you might as well, don't be stingy with it. Share it. If you like one of my videos, share it on your story. If you like one of my videos, comment on it. Comment a flex emoji. Do something, comment a fire. It takes you two seconds. All the effort I put in for y'all, I dedicate my, yo. I sacrifice for you, dedicate my life for you. <laughs> I got to love Jones for your body and your skin tone. Like, I literally, I just, y'all realize I've been on here over an hour. I just got off of a two-hour consultation call with the members of my university. Like, I edited 15 videos today. My page posted 10 videos today. 90% of my DMs have been responded to today. Go to my videos, look at the comment section. I have almost 300,000 followers. I still do my best to respond to like 80% of comments. Nobody else does that because they don't, a lot of, not nobody, but a lot of people don't care. You get too cool, you get money, you get success, you get a following. I'm better than you now. I ain't about to, yeah, you replied and said how amazing I was, but keep scrolling. I ain't about to reply to you and say thanks. You think I got time to say thanks? I'm fucking, I'm fucking, uh, I got a million followers. I'm Beyonce. I'm like, you know, like, and I don't give a damn movie. I don't care if I was Beyonce. I don't care if I was, uh, what's his name? Lil Baby, Bad Bunny. I got time. And I'm like, oh, well, they don't have time. It's understandable. They don't respond to any comments. Nah, they just like, do what I need to do. Do what I need to do. Go ahead and buy these tickets so I can make 100 million this year off of concert tickets. Yell and scream my name because I'm the shit. Yell and scream my name. 
Yeah, yeah. Share my stuff on your page. Do that shit. Yeah, my family good. Look at me balling out. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what y'all doing. I ain't gonna teach y'all nothing. I did my day. You know what I mean? So I'll never be that. That's just me. Uh, but yeah, man. I was planning on only being on here like 10, 15 minutes. We an hour in. Uh, it was worth it. It was worth it. Uh, so before you hop off, one last time, click the link in the bio, join the Holistic Health University. Y'all know they've been censoring me. Uh, I've been through a lot the past five months. Four, I, four, four to five months ago, they shut down all my stuff. They shut down my business. They shut down my old master class. They stole $50,000 from me. Shut down my PayPal account. Shut down my Stripe account. Completely deleted this Instagram, all my videos, all my testimonials. Banned my live on my backup Instagram. Shadow banned extremely my backup Instagram with 100,000 followers. It was only getting like two likes per post. Crazy. All real followers. Uh, completely deleted my TikTok account with over 750,000 followers. Uh, what else? I launched my Holistic Health University three months later. And my payment processor flagged every payment. I launched it. It was like October 21st at midnight or at 5 p.m. At 5 p.m., 500 to 1,000 of you went to process your payment. They all failed. <laughs> and I called to figure out why they failed. And it's because all of them, all of your payments showed that it came from my IP address, from my laptop, which means that I would have had to been here like an octopus running 500, 1,000 different payments from all your cards showing that I, they all were flagged as stolen cards from my IP address, which is a legal activity, right? So all of your payments fail. This is what I've been dealing with the last four to eight months. So when you ask why I like really fuck with Kanye and you ask why I really fuck with Andrew Tate and you're offended by that, because I feel like they're the only two people that know what the hell I'm going through, right? Now, with that being said, if it was to come out that Andrew Tate was proven guilty and there was proof that he was doing, which a lot of you all say he was doing, of course I wouldn't support him. But in the meantime, I'm going through similar stuff, so I kind of believe everything that he's saying, right? Kanye West, what Adidas did to him and all that stuff, yeah, he's saying some reckless stuff. Right, but they definitely want to shut down an intelligent mind, right? So that's just real. I'm always gonna keep it real with you. There was much more stuff too. That's just like the the base. That's just the base. So yeah, I started my own platform, Holistic Health University, so I can say what I want, when I want, how I want, because they clearly don't want you to know. The stuff that I know. They clearly don't want you to have this mindset that I just broke down to y'all in the last hour. They don't want you to know about finances, how to get financial freedom and be your own boss and do what you want. They don't want you to not take their pills and go to their hospitals and their nursing homes. All right? So they have to flag all my stuff as false information, okay? That's just part of the process. So yeah, if you want the real game, which is why I give you all detailed protocols for these illnesses, for these diseases that you, your mom, your grandma, your kids are stuck with. And I post the testimonies for all of them. All those detailed protocols are in the university. Yeah, sign up today, no code needed, 24 hours only. It's 29 bucks. It's 29 bucks. I gotta live too. It's 29 bucks. So I'm not gonna feel bad for charging. Like some people try to make me feel. All right, this is what I do for a living. You don't wake up and go work the register for free, do you? No. I spent all my life, so yes, I deserve a dollar per day from all of you all. Yes, I do. Uh, and you're not going to make me feel otherwise. <laughs> okay? That's if you want to take your life next level. If not, you always got options. Or you could always do what I did. You could, Mind you, you could always do what I did. Let me be clear. Instead of signing up for my holistic health and finance university and learning 10 different streams of income, becoming an expert at holistic health for $29.99 a dollar per day, you could always do what I did 
and take 10 years to obtain all this knowledge. Because I didn't know where to go for all of it in one place because there wasn't a place. And spent over $200,000 on different mentors and different courses and different eBooks to obtain all this knowledge. So don't get me wrong. You're always free to do that. <laughs> and mind you, I don't need to, my name's getting known enough, enough celebrities are talking about me sharing my stuff, enough of y'all are sharing my stuff. I don't need to be salesy. Sign up or don't, <laughs> it's, it doesn't matter. <laughs> For the members, if you wanna cancel, cancel. It's only gonna bring your life down. But you can always do what I did. You can always spend over $200,000. You can always spend 10 years trying to figure out how to accumulate wealth, get out of your job, pay this mentor, pay this course. Oh, this mentor scammed me for 10,000. Oh, this person scammed me. Oh, this and that. Oh, shit. Okay, I need to learn this one. Airbnb course, Turo course, uh, holistic health course. Oh, I need to pay this mentor to teach me holistic health. He traveled the world, Dr. Sadie. Uh, let me pay him. Oh, I need to pay this social media marketing guru, 50,000. Oh, I need to pay this Airbnb mentor, 120,000 like I did last year. You can always spend over $200,000 once you figure out how to get it somehow <laughs> over a course of 10 to 15 years to get all this knowledge, you could always do that. But if not, you may, you may want to deal with me who's given that all to you, everything I've learned for $29.99 per month and sign up today, Valentine's Day flash sale. Get the next month free, no payment. Your next payment not due until April 14th. You always got options. You always got options, okay? So I think we did enough. Man, this was a, this live replay need to be, if you're watching this live replay, the sale's over, by the way. <laughs> Cause I'm definitely uploading this live replay to my YouTube channel. Cause this is, some of you all, when this is uploaded, look for the thumbnail where I got this outfit on, on my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube. My name's the same, okay? Search T Walk Talk and subscribe. Some of y'all need to go to this video at least once per week. Everything that I broke down over the past hour, the motivation, the mindset, the financial part, escaping, slavery, all that, and you need to watch it once per week at least. Because the way I developed this mindset, not only paying mentors and things like that, I created a playlist like eight years ago on YouTube. And anytime I found a motivational speech that like really resonated with me, I save it to the playlist. Now the playlist has like over 100 videos. Every single day, for eight years straight, I go through that to that same playlist. When I walk the beach now, I've been in so many different places listening to this playlist. That's what's crazy. I was in West Virginia struggling, working a warehouse job. On lunch break, I'd be in my car blasting this playlist of motivational speeches, positive affirmations, how to change your life, how to change your mindset. I remember I went in back in from lunch break one day and one of the coworkers was like, what are you, religious? And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? And he's like, uh, you always sit in your car and I hear it through your speakers and you're listening like a preacher, right? And I'm like, oh no, that's Eric Thomas. That's E.T. the hip hop preacher. Yeah, I listen to motivational stuff to change my mindset in my free time. He's like, oh yeah, because you never sat in the lunchroom in the break room or nothing. We never see you on lunch break. Why don't you come eat lunch with us? No, <laughs> no, no offense, but I got other shit going on. I'm doing some building right now. Leave me alone, okay? I'm not eating lunch break with you ever, okay? So for eight years straight, I listen to the same playlist, okay? I'm adding Eric Thomas. Who else? Uh, Jim Rohn. Uh, who else? Bob Proctor. Who else? Now I add Andrew Tate. Whether you like it or not, I'm one of the most motivational speech people I've ever heard in my life. For me personally, resonates a lot. His life story, very similar, mixed, like that, white mom. Was bully going up? A lot of, a lot of stuff, okay? Um, many people. And I just add that to the list. And every single day, I used to listen to this list when I was working this job I hated. Then I was working to this list, listening to this list on break at another warehouse. Listening to it on break at the gym. Listening to it in Maryland, in West Virginia, in Utah. Listening to it in California. And it's funny, the more I listened to it, the more I got to better locations, the more money I got in my bank account the more success, the more freedom I have. Now I listen to it every single day as I walk the beach is that I can see out of my window right now in the sand where it's 80 and sunny every single day. So it's like crazy. Or while I'm driving my McLaren, I play it through the speakers. 
It's wild. Okay? I listened to Jim Rome, my favorite speech of all. Matter of fact, I'm going to get my laptop. Stay right there. I'm going to get my laptop and I'm going to play it to you because I listen to this one at least five times per week. At least five times per week. How did I get rich by the age of, mind you, I'm 31 years old. Two and a half years ago, I was dead broke. Listen to the same speech every single day for about eight years straight. And the speech is, I'm 31 years old, by the way. I turned 32 May 24th. I'm a Gemini. The speech is, again, I'm 31 years old. That's my age right now. I listened to the same speech for eight years. Two and a half years ago, I was dead broke. Now I make 100000 per month. I'm in the top 1% of income earners. Okay? The speech goes, how did I get rich by the age of 31? It was easy. I live in America. America's easy. How did I get rich by the age of 31? It was easy. Stay right there. I'm going to play it for you. It was easy. It was easy. It was easy. It was easy. What do you want me to say? It was hard? No. It was easy. Every day for eight years straight. That's how I got rich by the age of 31. America's, say it with me, easy. Now, if I lived in the Philippines, it'd be hard. But we live in America. All right? Let me see if I can pull it up. Because I want to show you the power of manifestation, the power of materialization because a lot of you all you do your manifestation but if you're manifesting and you're setting Indian style you're praying you're doing yoga whatever the case may be but you're not materializing anything that means something's off that means your Rubik's cube is like one side is off so you got blue you got yellow you got orange but you ain't got I don't know white whatever like you're missing you gotta like yo something's I'm doing all this I'm praying I'm meditating listening to positive affirmations something's off and for many of you what's off is you're doing that but then you're not putting the work in all right it was easy what you want me to say america was hard get i was rich by the age of 31 come on give me some internet don't mess with me right now the world needs this oh no not my phone dang it there we go bear with me bear with me there we go cool uh jim Jim, uh, I'm not logged into my account. It's getting rich is easy. Getting rich. There we go. Type in Jim Rome on your phone. Save this to your playlist. I don't care what age you are. Here we go. Posted 10 years ago, 1 million views. I started listening to it 8 years ago. I believe this is it. Let's see. I got rich by the time I was 31. Here's the best advice I give my teenage friends. It was easy. It was easy. What can I tell you? It was hard. No, it was easy. I'm a millionaire by 31. Let me tell you how I did it. I, I got chills. three reasons why I got rich I by the time chills, I was 31. Man. Let me give you those. Here's number one. I lived in America. I mean, how lucky can you get? America's easy. Easy. That's why everybody wants to come here. Mm-hmm. People have been prodded and schemed for 50 years saying if I could just get to Poland, everything would be okay. No! Don't no. no. hear this, right? The boat people are not desperately trying to get to Vietnam. Right. No. They're not squeezing through the fence to try to get into Mexico. No, they ain't. No! Neil Diamond says, looks like everybody's heading for... America. They're all coming to America. Why? Everybody wants to come here by every means possible to get here. Why? Because America's easy. Easy. So if you go home with anything, go home with that. Mr. Rome reminded us that America's easy. He got easy. rich by the time he's 31. 31. America's easy. Easy. Bangladesh is hard. Yeah. <laughs> Just take that home. <laughs> America's easy. Here's the average yearly income in Bangladesh. $120. Sheesh. That would be hard. hard. Tell me hard versus easy. So America's easy. Easy. Cambodia would be... Hard. The Khmer Rouge killed two million Cambodians to make communism work. I need to listen to this. That's Don't get off this lie. Hard. America is... Easy. Easy. India cool. would be... Hard. They got their challenges these days. Y'all following? Tough. America's... Easy. easy. China would be... 
Really hard. Underline really and make a study. It's hard. This is a speech from like 1970 or something. America's. Still relevant. Easy. And now in about 90 days, you can have that memorized. <laughs> Tell you, that's all you need. I got rich for the time I was 31. I lived in America. America's easy. Easy. Now here's number two. Listen. I found an opportunity. Found an opportunity. That's all you got to do in America. Is search for an opportunity. That's Take it. the first one, right? Try it. If that isn't it, it leads to another. One door closes, Try another again. door opens. This is what's exciting about America. Try it's again. Full of opportunity. Try again. Fail. Try a chance again. To try and then what? Try again. Try again and then what? Then what? Try again, again? Never. You never. Never run, never run, run out of opportunity opportunities. To try. See if you can't better your life and your health and your future and your never. bank account and your income. Make your fortune here. I lived in America, number one, found an opportunity, number three. Number two, here's number three. I found a teacher. Find a teacher. What a grand and glorious, Every millionaire, billionaire, unique thing the that same was thing. for me at that time in my life. I found a teacher willing to teach me. Live in America. And his teaching came in find two an parts. Opportunity, here's what it was. Very simple. Get a teacher. Number one, Mr. Ron, you have evidently messed, messed up. up. <laughs> Between ages 19 and 25. You messed up. Now, I could understand that. Second six but years. But he didn't leave me there. Second six years, though. He said, now, here's the answers on how to change it all. The next six years. The next six so years. that the next six years won't be like the last six. You know, what an incredible life. teacher. Taught me how to have a whole brand new six years. First six, what? I messed up. Messed up. Second six, what? I got it right. Yep. Second six years, I became a millionaire. Second six years, During I became a millionaire. During that second six years, the government was about the same. The same. I'm telling you. The same. Interest rates were about what? Interest rates, the same. The same. Same. The pay scale was about what? The same. The same. Lord knows my negative relatives were. Same. The same. Same. Circumstances were about the same. About the same. The economy was about. About the same. The same. The unions and their philosophy was about. The same. The same. What was going on around me was about. Same. The same. Then how come I got rich that second six years? I was not the same. I was not the same. <laughs> I change. I change. Facts. That's it. You gotta change. You gotta be willing to change. That's so, Mr. Ron, if you can do that, can anybody do it? Yes, I invite yeah. you on that journey. Anytime you want to, you can stay the same so that the next six years will be like the last six. Take a look right. at the last six years. And I'm telling you, the next six years. Y'all understand? Y'all hear? Like, I can damn near recite this thing word for word. The problem is, you're listening to the wrong stuff in your car. You're listening to the wrong stuff on lunch break. You're listening to the wrong stuff when you're at the gym. You're listening to the wrong stuff all day, every day. You know every word to the Rihanna songs yesterday at the Super Bowl. You know every word to fucking whatever is out. But I ain't doing nothing for your life. Let's get your, your life is going to be like the last six. Unless, or unless you want to count on this short list that we call not, not much, much list. list. Most everybody's counting on this not much list. Not much. What if all of your negative relatives turn positive? What would that do for your future and your fortune? Not much. What? Not much. Not much. If we had a new president. What if prices came down a little? What will that do for your future? Not much. I'm telling you, not much. Not much. If the economy gets a little better, what will that do? Not much. Not much. Now that the Democrats are in power, what's that going to do for your future? Not, uh, not much. much. We, got a, we could get a good debate going here. Republicans in power? Not much. If the Republicans would have stayed in power, what would that have done? It's not changing much. Not much. Hey, we could get a good debate going here. Sexualized. I'm telling you, it's a not much not list. Not much. Not much list. If you don't make plans of your own, guess things. what? You'll probably always fit into someone else's plans. Guess yeah. what someone else may have planned for you? Not much. <laughs> Someone else may got not much plan for you. Then what's going to make the difference? You're going to have to make the difference. You're you going to have to take charge. You now, Mr. Schultz, my teacher gave me a promise, and I want to... You're following three steps to be successful. Simple. First, most of you all, you live in America. You live in America. Y'all paying attention? Next, find an opportunity. You're going to be searching. What's the opportunity? What do I know? What can I learn? Social media is out. Maybe I should create a page. What's the opportunity? You got to search. You know how many times I searched for different opportunities? I had damn four failed clothing brands. This is my third Instagram account. I've taught this. I tried to do a, a page that like post viral clips and grow that. I, my YouTube failed. I, I worked this job and this job. I thought I was going to make 100000 a year doing a sales job. 
Like you said in the beginning, you never run out of opportunities. You fail, then what? Try again. Then what? Try again. Then what? Try again. It's America. You never run out of opportunities. So, live in America. Next, find an opportunity. Third, get a teacher. I'm here to teach you. I'm giving you free game right now. Listen to everything else. Like, Stop following the not much list because you put so much value on all these little things. The Democrats are in power. The Republicans are in power. Uh, the economy, it's the recession. Uh, oh, well, we need the minimum wage is too low. All these things affect your life. My mom said this. My sister said this. It affects your life. Not much. Not much. What happens? When I was broke three years ago, me, they broke versus now getting to a point where I make six figures per month. What changed in the, in the world? Not much. Economy is about the same. Average pay scale is about the same. President, who is about the same. Republicans, Democrats, about the same. Gas prices, about the same. But what happened? I wasn't. I was different. Y'all following me? I give you that promise now. Here was the promise I got, and I bring it to you. Here's what my teacher said. If you will change... Mr. Rohn, he said, if you will change, everything will change for you. Change. You don't have to change the government. You don't have to change prices. You don't have to change taxes. Forget all that. Doesn't matter. Doesn't even matter. He said, if you will change, everything will change for you. And the first thing you start changing is what? Your philosophy. That's it. You start changing your mind. You start changing how you think. You start picking up new ideas and information. Gather new knowledge, make better decisions about what's valuable. And I'm telling you, if you'll do that, your whole life will change. Your fact. health will change. Your health. relationship with your family will change. Fact. Your ability to cope with challenges and problems will change. I'm telling fact. you, income, promotions, all of it will change. If you will change, it'll all change. If you won't change, it isn't going to change. It ain't going to change. You can keep your fingers crossed if you want to and hope they'll straighten it out. You can wish for the wind not to blow quite as severe, but I'm telling you, Wishing for the wind to change in your favor, we call naive at best. Don't do this any longer. Wish for a better wind. The key is to wish for the wisdom to set a better sail. Utilize whatever wind that blows to take you wherever you want to go. That is the philosophy I picked up at age 25, and it revolutionized my whole life. And here's what I found. I found it was easy. easy. I got rich by the time I was 31, and it was easy. Now, here's my definition of easy. Got to jump this down. My definition of easy, easy, meaning something I, I could do. do. I figure if it's something you can do, it's... It's easy. It's hard. Easy. easy. It's an option. It's easy. Now, here's but a parenthesis. got to work hard at it. Parenthesis. I worked hard at it. I found well, something I could do, which was easy, but I worked hard at it. I got up early and stayed up late, worked hard that six years. I worked hard as fuck. Doing something that was easy. But what I did was easy, meaning it was something I could do. Got a teacher, and I live in America. You say, well, Mr. Rohn, if it was so easy, how come everybody else around you during that six years, how come they didn't get rich? Here's why. It's easy not to. <laughs> it's easy not to do it, too. You got options. How else would you describe it? That's it. You say, no, no. For all of the rest of them, it was hard for them, and it was easy for you. That's not true. Not you couldn't true. debate me on that in front of this intelligent audience. But here's the challenge. Let me give it to you in a philosophical phrase. I tend to be a little philosophical. Here it is. The things that are easy to do are also easy not to do. That's the difference between success and failure. Only difference. It's, it's easy. It's easy. And that's the thing, too. You got to find people to resonate with you. Like, for me, actually, first listening to Jim Rohn, it was kind of hard because, like, he don't look like me, old white man, gray hair slicked to the side, wears a suit. For me, I had to find people that kind of look like me. Oh, he kind of dressed like me. All oh, his skin tone's the same as mine. All oh, his upbringing, his story is a little like, like mine. So you may need to find someone who resonates with you more so that he can like hit your soul more, right? But for me, this speech, like forget everything else, this one did it. I'm like, I don't know what it is, but listen to what he's saying. It's easy. Find something that's easy, something that's easy, it's something that you can do. If you can do it, if it's an option, it's easy. Caveat, you have to work hard at it. Why did you get successful and all your friends didn't get successful? Why did I get successful and why did all my friends not get successful? Because the thing 
that are easy to do are also easy not to do. It's easy as hell to get off of work every day and play 2K. It's easy as hell to turn on Netflix. It's easy as hell to lay in bed and masturbate for two hours. It's easy as hell to look for the next chick on fucking Instagram that you're going to DM and waste your time with. For the next dude whose shit you're going to set on. That's easy. It's easy to do that. So it's easy to not do the right things, but it's also easy to do the right things. It was easy for me to cut off and say, I'm not doing that. It was easy to say, my mom's struggling. I, I hate my life right now. I'm super depressed. I'm having severe anxiety attacks. I'm unhealthy. I'm 275 pounds. So it was easy for me to make a decision to do something. Right? Let's keep it going. So you've got the choice here today of one of two easies. Easy to or what? Easy not to do. Easy not to. I can give you in one sentence how I got rich by the time I was 31. Here it is in one sentence. I I did not neglect Neglect to do the easy things I could do every day for six years. Did not neglect. Underline. I did not neglect. You're going to hear. That's the key. You're going to hear. I always say this. Like, I literally be reciting this. Like, so when y'all think I'm motivational, y'all only think I'm motivational because I listen to people like this. He about to say the same shit. You're going to end up driving a car you don't want to drive, living in a place you don't want to live, wearing clothes you don't want to wear, living a life. Just keep neglecting along. And soon your neglects are going to have you by the throat. Hey, I found something easy I could do that led to fortune and I did not neglect to do it. Major reason for not having everything you want in America. Neglect. Major reason for not having more of what you want in America. More health, more money, more power, more influence, more everything. Major reason why you don't get it. Simple answer. Neglect. Just neglect alone. Neglect. And here's the problem with neglect. It starts as an infection. Mm-hmm. Listen. And if you don't take care of it, it becomes a disease. Ooh. And here's what else is the problem. One neglect leads to another. Leads to another leads neglect to, to do wise things with your money, you'll probably neglect to do wise things with your time. Mm-hmm. Neglect to do wise things with your time, you'll probably neglect to do wise things with your business. Mm-hmm. One leads to another leads to another. Pretty soon, neglect has you by the throat, emptying your purse, emptying your heart, emptying all of your chances for equities and power and all the good things. Neglect. What if you should be walking around the block every day for your good health and you don't? Going. I'm telling you, you're on the wrong track. You should do it, you could do it, you don't do it. That's called formula for disaster. Formula for disaster. All you've got to do is let that and a few other things accumulate for six years. And now you're driving what you don't want to drive, wearing what you don't want.